Got everything set up, gonna start the bread this morning. It's cool outside and dry, so I don't know what that's gonna do to affect it. I got little puppies huffing and puffing around me. That's what that little puppy, you all right, so they're already laid bare? Ay, pobre, poor thing. Why is she still, why is she still caught? Oh, oh, she's got it stuck in there. Okay, well, hopefully she's getting it out. So I got the white, and I'm gonna put some wheat in. I do half and half, I found. For what I want, I get exactly what I need, a half and half. Got my water. I'm gonna mix up this flour a little bit. It's not clumpy, but I just like to mix it. Ooh, peanut butter. She's coming. <laughs> All right, we're mixed up. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's like 480 grams of water with 600 grams of flour. Maybe a bit more than 600 grams, but 480 grams of water. Um, this won't take long to mix up. Okay, about five, seven minutes in now, and the complete structure of this thing just changes. It's still sticky, but it's held together a lot, a lot better. It's not as, uh, it's very smooth. It doesn't look as um, scratchy as before. So this is almost ready to go. Just doing that, see it smooths out, so everything's smooth and nice. I think this is it. So. That's about eight minutes or so, just beating it up really good. And uh, I'm going to put it in a grease bowl and let it sit for an hour, and then we'll start on the next steps. All right, it's been an hour. Let me get this. Cold front passed through last night and it's actually cold outside now. <clears throat> so I'm keeping this in the oven with the light on because it's pretty cool in here and I know that'll slow down all the process. So actually I don't need that. This. Now I gotta get my salt. Sat there for an hour, it looks looks fine, looks what it's supposed to. It's moist, damp. Put it back in my mixing bowl. Add my salt. Now it feels it feels pretty good. Let me get some starter going. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I fed the starter right around midnight last night. So it was around here. It's up to here. It has a really nice odor. It smells pretty flowery and nice the way it's supposed to. And it's almost at the top, so it looks good. See how smooth it looks and all that starter sitting on the inside so now you really got to just mix it all together. I can feel the starter because it's a little bit cooler because it's room, the starter is room temperature and this is about the flour and water is probably about 80 maybe 75 80 degrees and the starter is probably around 68 or so. It's, it's cold outside and it's kind of cool in here today. So I have to remember to manage my temperatures, keep everything at least in the 80s. I think that that's helped so far. Look how smooth it is now. It looks good. It's 
that come together well. It's starting to get that, that particular odor that I like. So, it's mixed together, holds together well. Put it in the bowl, gonna cover it up. It's a little bit after 11. Let it sit in the oven with the light on for an hour and then we'll start on our folds. The hard part is done. Okay, it's been an hour, so now give it a nice fold. Keep my hand wet so it won't stick but it's folding really nice already it feels good i'm feeling already starting to feel some air bubbles in it so it's where it needs to be give it a couple more folds yeah. Looks good, feels good, it's nice and jiggly, where it needs to be filled with air, so I'm going to uh, let it sit for another hour and two more folds to go. Okay, another hour has passed. Folds real nice, look at that, that was just like held together perfectly. It's got a lot more stretch in it. Feels really nice, has a really nice odor to it now. You can feel a lot of air bubbles. It smooths out really quick when I fold it like that. See, it stays real smooth. Tacky, but just keep my hands wet. A bunch of air bubbles in it already too so okay nice and smooth it feels good has that jiggle too it has a nice amount of water in it today so should hold up really well let it sit for another hour and then we'll on to our third and final fold it's expanded there's a bunch of air bubbles in it looks good So, okay, that's the third and final fold. You gotta smooth it out a bit. Give it a slap. And that's it. Uh, gonna let it sit for another hour. And then the next step will be putting it in our pan. So everything's looking good and feeling really good.
puts a little, put a little bit of um, oil in this thing. I have my first, my first um, uh, loaf in this pan stuck real bad, so uh, it may be overkill. But what's worse, what would be worse, is having another loaf get stuck. So that's not happening again. Nice and greased. Bunch of flour down here. Right. Looks good, it smells good, it's nice and jiggly. Look at that, see how it jiggles in the pan? It's very good. So, it's uh, 3.23 in the afternoon. I'm gonna let this sit in the uh, oven with the light on for at least two hours. We'll see how it goes. It's cold, so it may take a little longer, not a problem. Just wait it out and uh, we'll see how it goes. Everything looks just the way it should. So, it's been in the oven, a warm oven, for about two and a half hours, and it rose significantly. It looks really pretty. So, oven is preheating now. I'm going to put the cover back on this, and whenever this dings, I'll put it in. Um, this one looks good. To temperatures, I'll go ahead and put it in the oven. Set a timer for 45 minutes. Looks good, S smells good, rose nicely, it's nice and even. I did not put any slits in it. So I'm gonna have to slice it. Slip my mind and then just click that I need to do it. So slice, diced. Let it go to that. Hopefully, <laughs> everything's okay. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> oh. All right. Time is dwindling down. It smells really great. So, I hope everything's going okay. But, uh, yeah, the, the odor starts hitting you like about. With about 20 minutes left, it really starts getting strong. And the whole house smells like that, so it's nice. has a nice color to it, a nice shape. All right, so he's got a nice rise on it. Um, all we need to do is get some color, but yeah, it looks really even, looks real pretty. Uh, when that 
color gets on it, it will look really great. Got about 50 seconds left. I think uh, everything looks great. It smells really wonderful. The coloring should be good. All we need to do is have it pop out of the pan right. I think we're good with that now. And uh, yeah. Looks great. Smells really good. Let's make sure it pops out of there. Perfect. All right. So here we go. Looks really good. It's nice and hot. Has really nice color to it. Smells delicious. It's a good size. So it's 7:30 in the evening. Probably be cutting into this in the morning, but let it cool off. But looks great okay we're, let's uh, cut this bread open let's see what we got we're gonna make some toast this morning so uh, it looks really good sounds all right good air it smells good the only thing is like you have to scrape some of this off. It does it doesn't really mess with the flavor, but it does make it a little bit dry. I clean the counter, so don't worry about that. But yeah, it looks good. The flavor is right right where it needs to be. The size is good. I really like the air pockets on here. Everything looks the way it's supposed to. So um, I'm gonna make my breakfast now.